All right, this is my second attempt today. Cindy, we are finishing up. Ignore all the bags. That's a sign of hard work. All right, so I'm gonna call this paddock A. The first one, when we drop off the trailer, the horses are gonna lead in here, right? So we, it's not beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna cut that down. We're bringing the saw out in a second. Okay, we quick creeded all the holes around here. It's just kind of ugly. Then we have a fence around this thing to keep the horses from, I don't know what they would try to do, but anyways, that board's gonna go. These trees are gonna go. Uh, can't remember. We filled in a hole that was over here. That's about it. Okay. There were never any holes or anything in this, in paddock A. However, we now have a beautiful opening that leads to paddock B. A horse has never set foot on this as far as I know. James is over there working. So we are going to keep this fence up. We're gonna use some wire to secure this. These are smooth top, no real risk of like laceration or anything. I've checked for any points or anything. Again, this is ugly, but the reason we need to keep this fence up and not let the horses access it is because we discovered a cracked concrete, um, I don't know what to call it, slab, that is not safe. We're putting tennis balls on any sharp points. I'm gonna cut this down. We're gonna trim these down with a saw. Uh, we're going to use some actual wire to kind of pin some of these points together. I'm going to do something about this, but that's about the worst of it. So this is going to be, we didn't have to put this fence up, but we thought it would be better. The reason being, there's that shed I don't want the horses to get into. That's our garage that you're looking at. But if they did get through here, it wouldn't be a tragedy because it's still fenced in, but part of that fence is broken. Okay, um, all the holes are filled in. We walk this yard, it must have been 15 times looking for any holes because that was my big paranoia. Um, this is gonna be a nice little tree cover for them. I'm cutting this right here, this, that's dead, but I'm going to cut that. I guess I have to cut this because I want the horses to be able to like get under here. See? Nice tree cover without anything in the way. That'll take five minutes with our actual saw. We're going to cut this, the part that's not going through the fence. Uh, looking for any safety hazards here. Nah. That's all the trees I've or branches I've cut so far. Just some bags I throw over. We are cutting this tree down because there's they could I could see some kind of injury happening here okay I cut a bunch of branches off I'm gonna cut this probably cut those those are these are soft new I don't know I can't imagine a horse hurting themselves but all other ho holes filled in so here's a view of where the horses are gonna be, husband working. Uh, if you have any feedback, let me know.